हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया रिलेटिंग टू इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया वाज इनैक्टेड ऑन नवंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन एंड फोर्टीन टू फोर्स ऑन जनवरी ट्वेंटी सिक्स नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सो द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी नाइनटीन it is having its own historical process there are so many factors responsible for the origin of the indian constitution in that the first one constant assembly played a very vital role to get indian constitution so the constant assembly of india was constituted in november 1946 under the cabinet mission plan the main aim of the constant assembly to form the indian constitution the total strength of constituent assembly was supposed to be 389 of these 296 seats were to be allotted to british india so it was headed by the constituent assembly held its first meeting on december 9 1946 then again december 11 1946 second session then dr rajendra prasad and h c mukherjee were elected as the president and vice president respectively then The constituent assembly took two years, eleven months, and eighteen days with eleven sessions to draft the constitution. The last session was held on January twenty fourth, nineteen fifty. So, apart from the role played by the constituent assembly to bring the Indian constitution, the constituent assembly appointed twenty two committees to deal with the different task of constitution making. Out of these, ten were on procedural affairs and 12 on substantive affairs these committees submitted the reports between april and august 1947 pandit nehru and sardar patel for their guidance and inserting the main points from the debates of the constituent assembly provisions of previous enactments opinions of the constitutional jurist and the decisions of the judiciary were also included so the role played by the constituent assembly to bring the indian constitution then after that the another milestone to bring the indian constitution that is the drafting committee so among all the committees of the constituent assembly the most important committee was drafting committee it was set up on august 29 1947 it was the committee that was entrusted with the task of preparing the draft of the new constitution the main aim of the drafting committee to draft the indian constitution it consisted of a chairman seven members dr ambedkar is a chairman other one members b l mitra n gopal swami ayyo alladi krishna swami ayyo k munshi sayed mohammad sadullah d p kaithan so due to the demise of b l mitra and d p kaithan n madhavrao and t t krishna machari were nominated the drafting committee after taking into consideration the proposal of the various committees prepared the first draft which was published on in february 1948 the people of india were given 8 months to discuss the draft and propose amendments in the light of the public comments commencement commencements criticism and suggestions the drafting committee prepared a secondary draft which was published in october 1948 On twenty sixth November nineteen forty nine, the Constituent Assembly declared, on behalf of the people of India, that we do hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this Constitution. It embodied all the objectives: democracy, secularism, economic, and social justice. So the drafting committee set forth the ideals of the Constitution. Then another milestone regarding the framing the Indian Constitution, that is the preamble of the Indian Constitution. the preamble means it is an introductory note to the indian constitution it is also the source of the indian it provides the characteristics it provides or it defines the nature the way the growth the source of the indian constitution it contains the essence of the constitution which is the key to its spirit and meaning k munshi described it as the political horoscope of the constitution so it also deals with basic features and philosophy for which it is considered as the soul of the constitution preamble is nothing but it is it considered as the soul of the constitution american constitution was the first 
to introduce the preamble many countries including india follow this practice american constitution was the first to introduce the preamble many countries including india follow this practice so the text of the preamble states that we the people of india having constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure on its citizens justice liberty equality fraternity in our constituent assembly the 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt an act and to give to ourselves this constitution so the constitution deed incorporates all these characteristic features the preamble expresses the political moral economic and religious values which our constitution is committed to prom- promote it specifies the source of authority the system of the government and the objective to be affirmed by the political system it con- con- constitutes the philosophy philosophy embodying the ideals and the aspirations to which the national movement committed itself the preamble states following characteristic feature the preamble begins with the first characteristic feature the preamble state we the people of india the term has been borrowed from the un charter that is the term we has been borrowed from the un charter it implies that ultimate authority in india rests with the people the people are the supreme it also implies that the betterment of masses raising their social and economic standards is the main aim of the constitution the preamble also set forth the main aim of the constitution so then the followed by the second characteristic followed by the second content incorporated in the preamble that is a sovereign it implies that india has a sole authority within its territory over all individuals and the association then the third characteristic feature the socialist it has been added as per the 42nd amendment in 1976 it means that the government is constitutionally bound to bring about socio economic changes to ensure decent life to indian citizen so here the concept of the socialist states that the well the con- welfare state so india should st- india should incorporate the socialistic principles to achieve to establish the welfare state then the third one fourth one states that the secular the term is also added by the 42nd constitutional amendment in 9 of 1976 it implies that the secularism implies that the state should have no official religion of its own then it would not extend so special favor to any particular religion the people of india are to are free to accept practice and propagate any religion of their choice the concept of the secular states that india is a secular state there is no specific religion so neutral or we can state the secular means no state religion state accept all religions and treats all religions neutrally so then the second next concept the preamble said for that is a democratic it implies the form of the government democracy implies that all governmental authority is derived from the people and it exercised by the government consisting of their representatives elected on the basis of universal adult franchise right A democracy is its a broader sense embraces not only political democracy but also social and economic democracy then the next characteristic features incorporated in the preamble the text of the preamble states the republic so the head of the state is elected by the people directly or indirectly for a fixed period and the system is quite opposite to hereditary principle so the concept of the preamble states who will be the executive head of the nation whether he is a nominal or real if he is a nominal what is the nature of the appointment or regarding the election so the who will be the executive head so then the cons- apart from the preamble set forth not only the way of the government the form of the government the objectives to achieve the welfare state apart from the preamble also states certain opportunities meant for the development of the individual personality in this regard the first concept the preamble the text of the preamble state the justice it implies that social economic political justice it ensures that people of india get justice through various provisions of the constitution justice is nothing but providing the impartial treatment 
for then the next one the liberty liberty is a very essential prerequisite for the existence of the democracy or we can say that the the entire success of the democratic form of the government is based on the liberty so the liberty is the pillar of the democratic form of the government the preamble assures all the citizens of india liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship next one the equality so the term equality stands for absence of any special privilege in favor of any person so then adequate opportunities for all the individuals without any discrimination in the last text of the preamble state the fraternity it means sense of brotherhood then the constitution promotes this feeling of fraternity by the system of single citizenship fraternity assures dignity of the individual unity integrity integrity of the nation so the preamble embodies the basic philosophy of the fundamental values of political moral religious on which constitution is based it contains the grand and noble vision of the co constituent assembly it reflects the dreams and aspirations of the founding fathers of the constitution the draft of the constitution after several discussion was amended and adopted by the constituent assembly in doing so it worked through the settled parliamentary procedures and carried out its assigned task most systematically so this way the preamble states the source the nature the characteristic features of the indian constitution on the base of the preamble we can summarize the characteristic features of the indian constitution first of all the constitution of india is lengthiest written constitution it is in the nature of written constitution then it is very comprehensive then detailed document so originally the constitution contained the preamble 395 articles eight schedules divided into 22 parts presently it consists of the consist of the preamble 463 articles and 12 schedules no other constitution in the world has so many articles and a schedule this is much bigger than american constitution with its seven articles and 26 amendments the japanese constitution with 103 articles and the french constitution with 92 articles the in next characteristic feature of the indian constitution that is the indian constitution has a well drafted preamble so the preamble is an introduction introduction which reflects the spirit of philosophy of the constitution it defines the preamble defines the aims the objectives of the framers of the constitution and is also expression of the aspirations of the people so according to the preamble a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic it secures to its citizens justice liberty equality fraternity unity and integrity of the nation then followed by incorporation of the fundamental rights the characteristic feature of the indian constitution incorporation of list of fundamental rights part 3 of the indian constitution includes six fundamental rights from article 12 to article 35 they termed as magna carta of the indian people however fundamental rights are not absolute that means not absolute means followed by limitations and restrictions fundamental rights guaranteed under the indian constitution deals with right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion cultural and educational rights rights to constitution remedies these all are the fundamental rights or we can say that the constitutional rights guaranteed by the indian constitution then followed by next characteristic feature that is fundamental duties originally the constitution did not contain fundamental duties earlier there were no duties were incorporated in the indian constitution but by way of amendment these were incorporated by the 42nd amendment in 1976 the newly inserted part 4a of the constitution consists of only only one article 51 sub clause a which specifies the 11 fundamental duties then the next characteristic feature of the indian constitution parliamentary form of the government indian constitution provides for a parliamentary form of government both at the center and the state the president and the governors are constitutional heads the real executive is created by the responsible to legislature both at the center and the state the next characteristic feature that is the federal structure and the unitary spirit the constitution of india establishes a federal 
system of government with features like dual government written constitution divisions of powers between the center and the state but indian constitution also contains unitary features like strong central government single citizenship common national anthem flag and emblem the next characteristic feature directive principles of state policy incorporation of the directive principles of state policy part fourth of the constitution they can be classified into three broad categories socialist gandhian and the liberal d promote the ideals of social and economic democracy next one characteristic feature independence of judiciary the framers of the indian constitution were aware that the democracy is meaningless in the absence of an independent judiciary thus independent judiciary independent and impartial judiciary with the power of the judicial review was established the indian constitution was established single integrated judicial system with supreme court at the apex and the high court at the state level then the next one the characteristic features single citizenship india is a union of states and there is a single citizenship for everyone all indian citizens owe allegiance to the state citizenship entitles them to equal rights and freedom and equal protection then incorporation of the emergency powers or functions the indian constitution contain emergency provisions which empowers the president to meet any unforeseen circumstances emergency powers of the president are enumerated enumerated article 352 under national emergency article 356 under state emergency article 360 financial emergency the president is having the power to declare national emergency state emergency as well as a financial emergency depending upon the situation exists in the state organization or the nation then next one incorporation of universal adult suffrage by way of the indian constitution adopted parliamentary form of the government followed by the indian constitution has made provision for universal adult suffrage the citizens who have con- attained the age of attained the age of 18 years are provided with the right to vote without any discrimination of caste color creed sex or place of birth then panchayat raj system the 73rd and the 74th constitutional amendment act of 1993 have added three tier local self government which is the not found in any other constitution of the world the 73 amendment provides for the rural lo- local self government and the 74 for the urban local self government then the last correct then the next characteristic features that is the method of amendment procedure being a written constitution the indian constitution has adopted provides for the rigid and flexible methods to change any of the rules regulation already incorporated in the constitution the constitution of india provided for the rigid and flexible method both procedures are incorporated some parts we can't change that is in the nature of rigid some parts we can change that is in the nature of dynamic so for that purpose the india adopted rigid and flexible methods of amendments the three methods of amendments enumerated in article 368 of the indian constitution deals with the amendment procedure in that the first procedure certain provisions can be amended by the union parliament by simple majority then the second one certain other provisions can be amended by difficult procedure the bill must be passed by two third majority in each house of the parliament then the third one remaining provisions can be amended by difficult method the bill must be passed by two third majority in each house of the parliament and ratified by more than half of the state legislature so these three are the procedure laid down in the indian constitution to change any of the law state law act already existed in the indian constitution we can invoke these provision then we can make any changes in the existing rules and regulation then the next one all india services there is another characteristic feature which is the very essential to the unitary character of the indian constitution there is a provision for common all india services like ias ips and ifs the recruitment and the control of these services are vested in the central government then followed by division of the power being a federal form of the government there is a distribution of the power between the center and the state on the basis of that the legislative powers of the union and the states are divided in three 
list they are union list contains 97 subject like external affairs defense currency income tax etc the union parliament alone is authorized to legislate that means these all are the subject fall under the category of central government in that only union government union parliament is having the power to make any of the law fall under these categories then the state list like 96 66 subjects like police jails pwd land revenue etc on which state legislature can make set of legislation then the third one current concurrent list has 47 subjects the they include labor welfare printing press education news paper etc on which both union and the state legislature state legislature can legislate these are some of the important salient features of the constitution so these all are the characteristic features of the indian constitution next session we'll discuss in respect of the constitutional rights or in detail in respect of fundamental rights relating to the why the rights are very essential so what are the rights comes under the part 3 of the indian constitution these all we'll discuss in the next session